Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your quarterly reading for October, November, and December. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Libra, wow. Now, bottom of the deck here, you do have time for a nap. So some of you may be feeling a little bit tired. You may be feeling a little bit restless or you're ready to live a simpler life in some way, shape or form. It could be quite busy for you over the next three months. So the message here is don't forget to connect with yourself. Don't forget to rest when you need rest and make sure that you are eating healthy. You're taking care of you and not obsessing about things or not overthinking things is a big message. I am getting the Four of Swords energy from this card and the Four of Swords can be rest and retreat. Some of you may even have some sort of travel or a trip planned over the coming three months. This is about self-care, renewal, rejuvenation, and knowing when to take a break, okay? That is showing up at the bottom of the deck. Now, Moving into October, we have your energy coming out here. 38 could be a significant number. It could be an age. For some of you, you may be born on the 3rd, or you may be 41, 52, or 24 could be a birth date as well. But I am getting your energy showing up in your month, right? Libran season is the majority of October. So there could be some sort of karmic balance karmic balance being restored some of you you're coming to a place in your journey where if you have gone through some sort of imbalance or legal situation or it's just felt a little bit difficult i feel like there could be a big aha moment this month and i'm actually getting now i don't know if this is a song or if it's a commercial one two one two three four isn't that the Kit Kat commercial? I'm not sure, but what that means is there could be a beginning that starts and then it feels like you may take a step back, but once it gets going, it really gets going, okay? So perhaps there has been a delayed beginning and the next three months, there's no more delays. It really takes off here, okay? Or there's been a delay to maybe some sort of court situation or, you know, a legal situation, but no more because look at what you have. The Ace of Pentacles, this is a start of a new life. Ace of Pentacles is a gift in the physical, material, earthly realm. This is something that is trustworthy, sustainable, long-lasting, and maybe that delay that I'm picking up on, the one, two, one, two, three, four, it almost feels like you kind of had to go back and do something over again, or there may have been a delay that was very important when it comes to this new beginning or this new phase or new timeline that you are entering into here, Libra. So, okay, what's happening with these cards? We have an Ace of Cups, there's another gift, and we have the Queen of Wands. This delay may have been due to someone's insecurities, okay, or it could have been due to maybe even competition or control. Yeah, I feel with this Queen of Wands showing up, if this is either your energy or someone that you are working with or dealing with, female or male, it doesn't matter. It's just showing up as, you know, the feminine energy here. So I feel like there may have been some insecurities that did lead to a delay, but you have two aces here. So aces are gifts from the universe. This is good news. It's favorable news. So if you are dealing with a legal situation or for those of you that have been in some sort of repetitive karmic cycle i feel like you're putting it to rest because this season is a big one for you libra some of you are hitting a very important age or a very important milestone you could be moving i'm getting here as well you could be weighing up some pros and cons yeah it almost feels on these scales you see that there's a fortune cookie 
Now you can't quite see what's in the fortune cookie, but I know what it is because I know this deck. And there is a card with, that has a fortune cookie that says not for you, right? Not for you. And on the other scale is an egg. <clears throat> and eggs to me represent new beginnings. So it almost feels like you're weighing things up where you're balancing the past actions or past hurt or pain or struggles that you've gone through and you're weighing it up against a new beginning. And I feel like you're finding balance and some of you, you're finding radical acceptance. Now that's a powerful phrase in itself, radical acceptance. It's as if you have finally accepted something had happened for your growth or you've accepted that you're no longer meant to be in an old timeline or old paradigm. And once that acceptance comes in, because that acceptance reminds me of the hanged man, like surrender or spiritual awakening, where you just wake up and you get it, right? You get it, or you have this deep knowing or this understanding or awareness that perhaps you had to work through. There may have been recovery. There may have been mending. There may have been some sort of healing that needed to take place. And I feel like October is the catalyst month because your tarot cards here, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. This is represented by the silver slippers, right? It's the the slippers in Wizard of Oz that basically take, uh, take Dorothy home, home to a place within herself. And I feel like you are embarking upon a new journey, a new timeline that has to do with you coming back home to yourself and being true to you in some way, shape, or form. Now, some of you, this is a positive reward for all of your hard work. For others of you, this is a gift uh, of an inheritance, potentially. This may be a new job. It could be success in the material world. It could be physical health as well where you're focused on physical health and well-being. Some of you are finding balance or bringing balance back into your emotional and physical health and, and wealth. Double aces starting off in your energy is very, very favorable. Now, you have a bonus card. In this deck, the author, the creator, added on a couple of bonus major arcanas and the empath is one of them. It's card 23. And the message that I'm getting here is you have learned a very valuable lesson, maybe through a karmic experience or relationship of the past. And that lesson, Libra, is to prioritize yourself and your emotional well-being. And that's what you're doing because aces can represent the self. Aces are singular. It is the seed, the conception of a new beginning. It can be the, the self. It can be, you know, courage to really take life into a new direction. But I feel like you are highly empathic as well with this empath card. This is feeling. It's compassion. It's understanding. It is being able to set healthy boundaries for yourself and know that you can't lead a horse to water when it comes to other people uh, or you can lead a horse to water. Like the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And for some of you Librans out there, you may have been enabling someone's behavior by continuing to let them get away with it or continuing to think that if I only love them enough or if I only did this enough, or if I sit long enough, they will change. The situation will change. But it's almost as if you started to take on their energy and you didn't even realize after a while what was yours, what was theirs. You got caught up in someone else's energy or loop. And yes, you can be empathic without taking on other people's stuff. So there is a lesson here around boundaries as well. And I see that actually working in your favor come November because you're, you are setting a healthy boundary as you embark upon this next leg of your journey. And I see with the Queen of Wands, your confidence is growing. Your confidence is taking on a life of its own and it's healthy confidence as well. Because sometimes 
the past situations can leave us feeling a little bit, you know, insecure or leave us feeling maybe um, jealous of other people's success or, you know, it just, it feels like there's a little bit of competitive energy, but I feel like you've stepped out of that and you said, you know what, uh-uh. I understand that things happen the way that they did. And even though I may have got the short end of the stick, I am going to let that go and let karma do its thing for maybe another individual. And I feel like you are opening up to brighter days ahead, Libra, brighter days ahead. And I definitely see that coming in and I see partnerships for you as well. So let's get an overall outcome for October 2024 for Libra. Six of Swords, you are moving on to calmer waters. Beautiful energy here. The Six of Swords, is about a transition, right? It's a transition to move on from a situation that was less than ideal. It may have been very difficult for you because what we're moving on from is that five of swords. And you see in the background, we have the black swan and we have the white swan. And it almost feels like the energy that you were in in the past may have brought out your worst side or it may have brought about shadows or you know skeletons from the closet but that wasn't a bad thing because it put you on this path of really truly learning and discovering who you are and loving yourself through all of the good the bad the ugly and being able to transform this energy into you know a beautiful swan here because we do have the polarity and duality of the black and the white, which is your representation. You are the sign of balance. You are the sign of duality. I'm a Libra as well. So when this shows up here, I feel like there's a new journey of trust, of hope, of inspiration. And I feel like you may have in the past clung to some old habits or old insecurities, maybe even some old wounds with the queen of wands in reverse. Not anymore. You're not better than others. Others aren't better than you. I feel like you are moving on from some sort of lower frequency or challenge or struggle that had taught you so much about yourself. Maybe maybe one of the most challenging or difficult situations, but the outcome is you're moving towards calmer waters. Now in the month of November, Libra, you have between worlds. Look at that. You have the flamingo, which typically the flamingo is one, on one foot balancing, right? And you see that the tail end of the flamingo is coming out of the storm and the other half of it, so again, the card of duality and polarity, you see that this beginning, right, the head is stepping into this brand new phase, this chapter. And I do see that there is a brighter energy on the horizon for you. You could be stepping more into your power. Yeah, you're coming out of a situation that just feels like, yeah, it's been difficult, but you have double new beginnings coming in here. What's the overall energy for November for Libra? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. We have the star. The star is wishes. It's the card of healing. It is Aquarian energy of inspiration and hope. It is literally the brighter future card. It comes after the tower. Now I see that there's already been a tower for you and it could have been part of that five of swords that you're moving away from because five of swords is Someone possibly taking advantage of your kindness, taking advantage of your money. It could be mental mind games. It could be selfishness, uh, selfishness, revenge, anger, rage, poor sportsmanship, bullying, manipulation. I mean, you name it. Five of Swords is one of those cards that there's just no win-win, right? It is a battle of the egos. It's victory through dominance or control, right? but that always comes at a cost. And there has been a loss. There has been something that you've had to heal or recover from. But the stars are aligning here, Libra, to bring a wish to your world, to your life. And that's why you have the star showing up. You have the Empress, which is you. 
You know why this is coming in? Remember what we said in the very beginning of your reading? Because you have chosen with that empath to prioritize yourself and your emotional well-being. Instead of allowing maybe someone to live in your mind rent space, uh, rent free, or instead of allowing others to take advantage of you at work, or instead of letting maybe insecurities around your skills and gifts and talents block you from manifesting money or abundance, whatever it is here, you are fully embracing your Libran energy and it is a blessing. It is a gift. When these two cards show up together, this is highly favorable. Now, for some of you, it has to do with a lot of changes around material wealth. You have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is big boss energy. He focuses on his success, his money, his abundance. He is a reliable leader. He's someone that has worked his way to the top here. And I am picking up on a lot of respect. A lot of people respect you. This could also be someone that you meet. This could be a new energy that you meet, but you realize that not only are they the king of pentacles, that they may be an emperor, right? And that may be part of that delayed start where you may have taken a step back and said, oh, well, maybe you're not an emperor. You could be a king of pentacles. That's amazing as well. But then boom, something takes off here because I do see the soulmate energy coming in for you. So the king of pentacles can certainly be, you know, a wealthy person or someone who is uh, very maybe traditional, business savvy. They're focused on their growth and learning and just building a solid life here on earth. And they're not brought down by the pettiness or the drama of life's life stuff that sometimes gets in the way, the, the lower vibrational frequencies of the five of swords, right? They're not they're not for that. And so whoever this is for you in your life, I feel like it is something strong, loyal, trustworthy, and it's showing up as the Gnome King. And you see that he has jewels speckled all over him. Someone could have a beard. Someone could have a mustache. Someone may be bald as well or balding, but I do get a very reliable, trustworthy, respectable leader here. Now we have the queen of pentacles showing up. So there is a counterpart. There is, you know, king and queen energy showing up in this union. And I see that maybe it had a slow start with the knight of pentacles. Okay. But I feel with the message, the messenger, there's going to be um, a new spark or something finally moves faster. Now also, some of you are getting out of a relationship because I feel that this king and queen of pentacles, I didn't even recognize both of them together here, but someone is divorcing or someone is coming out of this cycle. But for those of you that are single or you've been preparing for love, preparing for union with the ace of cups here, this is a divine counterpart. These two can build a very wealthy, very successful life with each other here on earth. He is the protector. She is the nurturer. And she's going to nurture, you know, whatever she has to. You can see that the Queen of Pentacles is represented by the Duchess. And she's holding on to her little piglet there. She has her full-on white face. And so I feel like the two of them together, if this is a new relationship or connection, or let's say you have been married, but there's been some struggles and you want to stay in this marriage, I feel like there's an opportunity to communicate effectively with each other and to address some long-standing problems, okay? But I feel for a lot of you, this is brand new, okay? With the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. And we see the Pentacle here showing up. So this is the seed being planted in October. <clears throat> and in November, we see something really coming together. Now, you also have the other bonus major arcana here, which is card 22, Remember the creator had added on bonus cards. There's only 21 major arcanas. This is the 22nd, which does represent communication, messages. If there has been any misconceptions or if you've been confused about something, I feel like communication is going to clear it up. You could also get an invitation 
from a partnership, if this is not love, if this is career, I feel like the two of you could work really well together. There's a new offer where you're stepping out of an old paradigm and into something new here where there's more hope, more inspiration, and a lot of success, a lot of abundance with this Empress energy. And there's going to be news, incoming news showing up here. But also when I get this, someone is going to express their feelings. They're going to tell you how they really feel. And I feel like it's gonna, it's going to heal any concerns that you had around a situation. Because maybe you weren't sure how the other person felt, right? Or maybe you weren't sure if you were gonna get that raise. Maybe you weren't sure if you were gonna get that job. So I feel if there was any waiting or any confusion, there's going to be strong, solid communication that tells you, oh yes, Libra, you are all in. Here's another card of messages with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is curious. You may be curious about someone, someone is curious about you. This could be a new project, a new course of study. Some of you are learning new things, new things about each other, new things about maybe your job or your business. I do see education or classes showing up here. And because we have so many pentacles, I feel like this is long-term. Whatever is going on here for you in October, whatever seeds have been planted, I'm also getting you've already planted some of these seeds. It may already be the Ace of Wands and maybe even the Ace of Swords. There's some sort of new beginning that may have already taken. And remember, that's that one, two, one, two, three, four. So this is just the wrapping it up and something is gonna take off, but I feel like it is strong, it is solid, it is dependable, it is reliable with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? Trustworthy, uh, this energy is resourceful and patient, right? And I'm getting the love is patient, love is kind, uh, excuse me, love is kind, love does not boast, you know, love, some of you, that could be a prayer or that could be something that does show up for you in the month of November, strong Scorpio energy in November. But I feel like there is a moving energy with the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is long lasting. And for those of you that are entering out of a phase with someone, do not let insecurities or fears of going it alone stand in your way of moving forward because you're not going to be alone forever. If anything, I feel like you could call in someone sooner than you had thought or sooner than expected. Now, even though there should be a little bit of maybe a time gap between entering into a new phase so we can heal and we, we can recover. A lot of you have already done that healing. You've already been in some sort of separation or you've done the work and you have been ready for this new beginning. So don't let fears and insecurities hold you back, Libra. All right, let's look at December. You have a bonus card, soulmates and mending. I almost feel like there's someone significant coming into your life that is helping you on such a profound level where it feels like all of those broken pieces that had shattered during some sort of tower that you've had in the past, this soulmate comes in and puts all helps you put all those pieces together again. And you realize that after all, you are more complete being put together after that, you know, shattered energy. It's like Humpty Dumpty falling off and being able to put yourself back together. But in the process of putting yourself back together, you actually find more fulfillment or more completion. And so this soulmate, it could be a lover. It could be a pet. It could be a best friend. It could be a family member. It could be a therapist or a coach. I mean, whoever this is for you, I mean, it does have the hearts and it penguins do mate for life. So for a lot of you, this is a romantic partnership, but it doesn't have to be, okay? And I just feel like you've mended your heart or the areas that still feel a little bit triggered or a little bit insecure or a little bit of self-doubt, this person comes in and they blow it out of the park, meaning that all of those fears that you have, 
they help solidify the fact that they are in fact fears because it's like they have the the balm this could be i'm just going to put this out there i don't say this a lot in my readings but this could be twin flame energy showing up here for you the other part of you or it could be you know a definitely a soulmate i mean this is soulmate it can be soulmate or twin flame i don't feel like this is karmic i feel like this is a union where they do have the the balm not saying that you're going into this with a trauma bond that's not at all you've already healed you've already done the work but there could be as there there is from time to time some fears or insecurities or you know past energies that creep in that have you questioning is this trustworthy is this too good to be true uh is this gonna break down you know is this gonna last forever because you've gone through some situations in the past that have been difficult but i just feel with the mending card it's like this person comes in with the needle and the yarn and they are sewing up the pieces of yourself to confirm that this is your person that you can trust them that you know they do hold that trustworthiness and that honesty they hold the key to your heart that penguin it looks like a masculine energy here i see the blue uh, but again it doesn't have to be it can be same sex it can be a friendship take it as it resonates to you but he's holding the key here and to her heart because you can see there is a heart on that penguin and i mean this is beautiful so let's get some tarot cards let's get some tarot exactly everything i just said about the salve and the wounding three of swords showing up here and oh from a king of swords potentially some of you had dealt with a king of swords in the past and i feel like that was a union that didn't get off the ground it it made it to that too remember what i said about the one two one two three four you and maybe this energy of the past could be a romantic partnership it could be someone you worked with right whoever this was you only made it to two with the two of pentacles and then something broke your heart right so what's happening now is you may be getting to that level two with this new energy and you're being triggered because the body keeps score the body remembers the mind plays tricks on us sometimes and says whoa wait a minute last time when it got to this it my heart was broke my heart was shattered but this person again is going to let you know like hey we got this we're in this together you're not alone king of swords in reverse he's not a fun energy to play with he is you know someone who he's very cold very manipulative very conniving they lack empathy it can be someone who's hot-headed angry a poor communicator doesn't know how to listen to your wants your needs and isn't able to express them healthily to you and i just feel like that's not what's happening here spirit can we see what is truly happening what is the outcome energy for december 2020 four what do we have for december all right we have i'm just seeing i thought one of them flipped down but that's supposed to be in that deck we have the king of wands and the eight of cups we have another king energy in here so again remember that all four kings equal that emperor all four queens the empress i feel like you're seeing different psyches or different parts of this individual that you're connecting with but you're seeing that they hold all the traits and that they're someone who's able to walk the walk and talk to the talk and stay consistent with you because the eight of cups is moving on to more emotional fulfillment and so there may be a little bit of that energy or that pause when you get to that second level just because you've been there before and you've been heartbroken and you're able to move past that through the help of another the king of wands now we see king of wands and queen of wands remember what i said about this part of perhaps your own psyche with this queen of wands they are coming in in the upright to to help you release any insecurities that you have about taking something all the way and we have eight of cups what are they walking towards eight of cups is represented by the wish upon a uh, wish upon a star 
And didn't we highlight something about black and white earlier? The Eight of Cups is when Dorothy is still in Kansas, right? And she's dreaming of brighter days ahead. And we actually see that here in the month of November, you have between worlds. And so we see the, the dark going into the light. So whatever you're walking towards, you are cutting off ties of the past, whatever that King of Swords energy is for you, Libra. And there is a rainbow on the other side, right? Somewhere over the rainbow. And this person, this energy, this community, this business, whatever it is for you, they are helping you, you know, navigate the ship. And that's where this King of Wands comes in because you're seeing that this person has a lot of value and they honor you and they respect you. And I'm just loving this for you. All right. Uh, let's get one final message for December. What do we see for December? Final message for December, the lovers. You can't make it up. I mean, this truly is a love story. Uh, and, and again, for those of you that are like, Mel, it's not love for me. It's not romance. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be romantic partnership, but it definitely is a love story because it's something that has to do with the heart. Now, the lovers here is Dorothy and the Scarecrow. Now, they're not lovers, but they're best friends. So some of you, your best friend is your lover, or this is a situation where your best friend is, is helping you move into this new energy or soul tribe is coming in and i just oh i'm i'm in love with your reading here libra i'm excited i'm excited for us all let's take a look and see what messages are coming in from spiritual leaders from your guides your ancestors your loved ones what words of wisdom or words of advice are showing up here please for libra for the next three months all right, Libra, we have Mandy Hale. The most important day is the day you decide you are good enough for you. It's the day you set yourself free. Some of you, there has been perhaps a feeling of not being good enough. What if I'm not good enough for this person? What if I'm not good enough for the job? What if I'm not a good enough parent? What if I'm not a good enough mother or father? What if I'm not a good enough daughter or son, right? There's this feeling of not being good enough because at one point or another, Libra, in your life, you were made to feel like you weren't good enough. But you are. And remember what we said earlier about radical acceptance? You are accepting the truth. And the truth is that you are a spark of the divine, that you are perfectly imperfect, right? That you are important, that you are good enough. And I feel like you realize this on such a profound level that it changes everything. Next, we have Dr. Seuss. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. You are unique. You are someone who a lot of people respect and they want to be in your energy. You have this magic about you. Remember that, you know, magic slippers that's coming in here and you have the, the star. I mean, you have such powerful energy. Remember your gifts and remember who you are. Next we have Pablo Picasso. Everything you can imagine is real. Imagination is also intuition. Use your imagination to dream big. What are you curious about? What are you wanting to discover? Because you can manifest those dreams into reality. Picasso did, right? Picasso was an absolutely brilliant artist, and you are as well. Last but not least, good old Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle to keep your balance. Okay, Libra, you can't, this is for you, right? To keep your balance, you must keep moving. You must keep moving because what happens when we start to slow down or we second guess ourselves? Right? Or we decide that, you know, oh, we're, we're done. We don't want to, we don't want to participate anymore. Right? I feel like you don't have the training wheels on anymore. 
And Libra, you went through a situation where it may have felt reckless at times and you may have decided to put on the training wheels because it, it was out of control, right? And you were, you were wearing a helmet. Maybe you crashed. Maybe you bruised yourself. Maybe you wounded yourself. So what did you do? You said, well, I'm going to put on the training wheels and I'm just going to maybe take it real slow and I'm not going to. But I feel like that closing down wasn't the answer and it's not the answer here. It's important to open up because life is like riding that bicycle. So keep on going because the universe has miracles here for you, boundless opportunities. And you're getting a sweet taste of what this looks like here, what it feels like, what it is. And I also see all of your senses being activated in the coming months. So for some of you who haven't felt much for quite some time, maybe you haven't even been tasting your food, right? Maybe you haven't really enjoyed a good meal because you've been eating on the go or you've been neglecting health in some way. Perhaps those of you who haven't been touched in quite some time, for those of you who haven't been seeing the results that you would like, there is a shift coming into the senses. And I feel like all of them are being activated over the coming months. So I'm loving this reading for you, Libra. If you like this, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And thank you so much for being a part of this community and tuning into this frequency. Lots of love to you, Libra.